All right, uh, so this one is a pretty big, important one. I think it comes with the TypeScript standard library. They say here it's a built-in, it's read-only. So we're gonna take an interface and make all of the properties of that interface read-only. It says here, constructs a type with all properties of T. T is lingo for like the parameterized type. We're gonna see T a lot in this stuff. And it sets it to read-only, meaning the properties of the interface or the type cannot be reassigned. So, yep, uh, this just gives an example. If we click, take the challenge, we'll go right into an example. Hi, Rob, I see your cursor. Um, Hi, Dimitri. So, all right, so this is, a, this is a good kind of overview, I think. To do one is the thing that we start with is the input, and read-only to do is the output. And we're actually gonna do deep read-only in a minute here for in a new, different challenge, but this one is not deep. So we're just gonna take all of the top-level properties and remap them. And we see here we have our tests. So Rob, what do you think we should, how, do you, how would you approach solving this? So immediately, I'm um, looking over, looking at the, the properties, it looks like we need to map over these properties. Uh, all, the, all the property types are the same, so it's like we just need to add the read-only attribute all right. to each of these keys. Um, so we'll so have like start that. with an object. So we have okay. a read only attribute. Read only. And yep. we have a property in D. Mm -hmm. And I think we might need to do. Or key yeah, of key of T. Yeah, right, right. Because we want to get the keys. Mm -hmm. And then we want to get the value for the property. Property. All right. Cool. And they all pass, so I think that's it. Um, one thing we can do that's always exciting uh, once you get something like this solved is to see um, is to see what TypeScript themselves did uh, here. We don't even need to complete it. So I, I just typed it in and I hit F12. So this gets us to the built-in. Um, you and this is in like lib.es5. These are built into TypeScript, and they're global at all times. And this is the implementation, and this pretty much directly maps what we did. So I think we did, except. I guess we should probably do what they do and just call these P, but yeah, we did it. So high five. I did look online for other imp implementations of this and there's basically nothing else. This is just about the only way to do this in TypeScript. And uh, this is how you do it. Any other thoughts, Rob? Nope. Cool, on to the next one. <laughs>